Hello, from the Lancaster Church of Christ. I'm uh, giving you some thoughts today to prepare your mind for the Lord's Supper. And what I want to talk about first, of course, you know, we're in the times that we're in right now is uh, something else, what we're going through. Um, I asked for some input um, before I get into the scripture I want to read. It'll be in Romans chapter 8 if any of you have your Bibles if you want to turn there. Um, Romans 8, 28 is where we'll start. But I had asked uh, some one word uh, descriptions of what people were feeling right now, their emotions, um, what we're going through. And I wanted to, to read some of those with you. Had quite a few responses. Um, one of them was inconvenient, challenging, there was actually some that said blessing, peaceful. There was two that said calm. The time together, not rushing around like we were before. Uh, overreaction, over-exaggerated. There was one that said, couldn't quite get it down to one word, but you find out who really is in control, and it's not us. I won't say which daughter it was, but her initials are Stephanie. Um, another one would be trapped, humbled, stressful or stressed. There's five that actually said confusion. There's two that was uh, would say accepting, waiting, unprecedented, frustrated, disappointed, longing, hope, resentment. There were three that said uncertainty or uncertain, disconnected, simplified, masked, resolve, ambivalence, Cautious and heavy, meaning that it just feels like a lot to go through right now. Those are some of the emotions that people are feeling, your brothers and sisters. And for the Lord's Supper to prepare for it, I wanted to give us some words of encouragement from the Scripture, some hope. And in Romans chapter 8, Verse 28, he says, We know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. We don't always know what God's plans are. Sometimes we don't understand. But we do know that God is in control. And his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And in time, maybe in the future, we'll look back and maybe understand a little better. But right now, it's, it's hard for us to understand. In verse 31, he says, What then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who is he that condemns? Christ Jesus, who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword as it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors. Through him who loved us. 
For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future nor any powers, neither height nor depth, or anything else in all creation, even coronavirus, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So we know through through Jesus' sacrifice, we have hope. We have hope for the future, especially hope for heaven. Let's pray. Father, as we go through these times, we know that we need to depend on you and trust in you, put all our hope in you. Sometimes it brings us back to reality of what really is important in our lives. We know that what Jesus did on the cross is, is extremely important for what he did. We ask at this time, as we remember your son on the cross, Help us to remember his body as we partake of this bread. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Let's continue our prayer. Father, as we continue to remember the sacrifice on the cross, help us to never take for granted what was done for us, for the blood that was shed. We pray that we'll remember the cost, the sacrifice through that blood as we partake of the fruit of the vine. In your son's name, Jesus, we pray. Amen.